Would you still care to talk to me? So, uh, what's up, guys? It's here, here by Anino or Quadigy. And in today's video, I actually have an extremely special video for you guys Call of Duty controller support is actually now in Call of Duty Mobile. Let me show you guys the proof right here in the settings section. And you guys can see on the tab right there, it says controller. Oh, hold on. Let me begin, uh, turn my thing to do not disturb real fast. So you guys can see, it says controller up there in the top right, which means there is controller support now in Call of Duty Mobile. So when you click on it, and you have your controller uh, selected, you pretty much have all the controller keys as to uh, what it's going to look like when you play our controller. If you guys want to find out how to connect your controller right now, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you're new, turn on those notifications for Call of Duty Mobile controller gameplay on Call of Duty Mobile. I'm going to show you right now how to connect to your controller. So, without further ado, let's go to the Bluetooth settings on our iPhone. It should be able to be done on Android as well. Okay, so here we are on our Bluetooth section of our iPhone. It should be on the screen. Sorry for the, the weird screen, I guess you could say. But basically, you want to turn on your Bluetooth. Turn on your Bluetooth and you'll connect your controller. So we're turning on our Bluetooth right now. As you can see right there, it actually has my uh, my controller selected right there. If you wanted to basically discover your controller, make sure you hold the share play button and the PS4 button, like the main PS4 button together until the controller starts uh, like like screening and wide, I guess you could say. So we're gonna hold it, as you guys can see here. Oh my goodness, that looks so weird. And now, it should discover my, uh, it should be, your PS4 controller should be like this. And it's gonna, it's gonna try to discover, your phone is basically discovering the, the, the controller. So basically from there, you click on where it says DualShock 4 Wireless, and you have it connected, as you guys can see right there. So with that, you can now use your controller in actual gameplay on Call of Duty Mobile. So let's look through the settings of Call of Duty Mobile controller right now. So here we are on our controller settings, and as you guys can see, we have the settings. It says enable controller support, so we have controller support ready. So I'm gonna screenshot that real fast. We got the x-axis flip. You can flip the triggers or bumpers. So if you're used to playing with L1, R1 as your aiming down sights and your, your shooting sights, then you should do that. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Everything else you can pretty much change. Me, I like pressing L1 and R1 for shooting and aiming, so that's why I changed it. They even got sensitivities for multiplayer, as you guys can see here. ADS, non-vertical. You can uh, adjust that how you want. If you guys want me to do a settings video for controller, I got you guys. Make sure to get this video to 500 likes. We got a BR sensitivity uh, and a zombie sensitivity. So they even have sensitivities for each of the modes. So yeah. One note I want to say about uh, Call of Duty Mobile controller support is that you can only use the controller, like the controller controls, in the actual gameplay. While you're here on the lobby menus and everything, you can't use your controller to navigate the menus, at least for right now. So I still have to actually like, you know, press uh, multiplayer if I want to play a multiplayer match and press start if I want to press start. Here I can actually press circle to cancel, which is what I'm going to do right now. Circle. So as you can see, Controller support does work on Call of Duty Mobile, and I just showed you guys how to do it. So if you guys want to see more gameplay, there's going to be gameplay to follow of me actually playing my first game with controller. And yeah, that's how you connect your, uh, your PS4 controller to your iPhone uh, device. The process should be similar to Android and with your Xbox controller. You know, you just got to kind of like figure it out. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep being big boss. I freaking love you all. And let me know, do you prefer Modern Warfare with controller? Or do you prefer Call of Duty Mobile with controller? I'll see you guys all later, and bye! Oh my god, I'm actually playing with my controller, guys. So I'm actually playing with my controller. As you guys can see, I am moving with my PS4 controller. Oh my god. It feels really weird, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, as you guys can see, they have all the buttons for you. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, this feels so weird, actually. I'm not sure if it's gonna be smoother for you guys, just for me simply, uh, I haven't used... Oh my goodness, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this is actually really, really awkward. It'd probably be smoother for you guys, because I'm actually, like, trying to record and, uh, use my controllers, you guys can see. I'd probably be better on my PC, because I do play on my PC, by the way. But in case you guys didn't know, What's happening right now is uh, the players that I'm getting matched against are also controller players and PC players as well. 
So I'm gonna be placing people that are pretty tryhard, but this is so cool. This is actually dope. Like, if you're used to playing default on uh, on Modern Warfare, Black Ops 4, Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, whatever you, you know you play, it's pretty much the same controls. Unfortunately, you can't map out the controls the way you want it to be. But this is such a good start for mobile. If anything, they're gonna improve things, and this feels really good for controller support. If the gameplay seems kind of laggy, I do apologize. I am recording off a, a mobile device, so it might not be the smoothest, but hey, we're having fun! Shout out to COD Mobile for making this possible. Because right now, it runs like a dream. It might be a little weird to get used to because of sensitivity, but once you get used to it, I think I think you're, you're gonna find yourself uh, falling in love with this. Hold on. Oh my god, I forgot to turn on freaking, uh, do not disturb. So you guys might see my notifications. That's how you guys know I'm on my phone right now. And this is not PC gameplay. This is legit controller support in Call of Duty freaking mobile. Finally, guys. After all these freaking years. Uh, make you guys smash the like button on this video. As you can see there, we got somebody else on controller or PC. This is so freaking dope. Um... Yeah, let me know if you guys are going to be playing Call of Duty Mobile now with your controller. Like, this is actually really weird. Do I, do, should I just, like, hold it up so you guys can see that I'm playing with my controller? Or what? Oh my god. Freaking notifications are getting in the way, DV. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm garbage. I am actually garbage. Oh my. As you can see, it's still pretty hard to play. <laughs> on freaking mobile, but we are actually playing on mobile. Should I play this way? I don't know. There you go. Oh, we got a UAV. Oh, it's pretty easy how to call in the, the sword streaks here, too. Okay, we're gonna use the, the sparrow over here. Uh, you guys are not familiar with the sparrow. Here it is. Body? Woo! Wait! Let me know. Also, six and stones is actually in Call of Duty Mobile now as well, which is insane to me. Body? Oh my god. I feel like I'm playing Black Ops 3 again with the sparrow in my hand. Oh my god, this is actually a really exhilarating experience, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, give me... Oh my god, I'm about to drop a VTOL. Let me drop a VTOL for you guys. If I can drop a VTOL, I'll be a king. But I can't find these dudes. Is he coming up? I think he's coming up. Nope. Come on, all I need is one kill. Literally, I'm about 100 points away. Oh, let me get the kill, let me get the Yes! We got the VTOL, guys! Let's call in the VTOL! Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications if you guys want more controller gameplay in Call of Duty Mobile, or you guys, you know, you don't mind my, uh... My, uh, my freaking weird self. My PC self, I guess you could say. Are they all underground? There you go. I'm the hero. Bro, they're all trying to hide. Nerf this. They shot down my veto? Oh wow, that's an L. That's actually an L on my part, I'm not gonna lie. They're up here camping. Stop camping. Oh bro, we're gonna lose. Nope, we're not losing. We're on a 15. We're five off ki we're killed five kills off in the nuke, something like that. No team and I got you. And we're playing on hijacked, man, like. Let me know what if your favorite call was Black Ops 2, man. Black Ops 2 and the VTOL. Amazing. Okay, we got this. We got this. Oh my god, you guys are spamming my notifications, man. Number one tip, turn on Do Not Disturb, and we lost. Oh well. I tried my best. You guys are going to see my final score here. But that is my first game ever on Call of Duty Mobile with a controller. That is insane. That is actually insane to me, man. Wow. We actually made it happen. Shout out to the people at Call of Duty Mobile. This is actually insane. Oh, uh, the only thing that I gotta say is that you can't use your controller screen, uh, or the lobby screen on your controller. You actually have to like click on your phone. So I'm gonna go on my phone to kind of like check out my what my score line is. But pretty good, huh? Oh, okay. I can press X. Okay. Next. Next. And I guess I click my score line. And we went 18 and 1. We were pretty close to the nuke. You know, fortunately, my teammates, 6 and 7, 5, 6 and 9, 4 and 12, 5 and 11. They couldn't quite handle the uh, the fire here, but yeah. 
What do you guys think of Call of Duty Mobile now with controller support? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. If you guys want to see more of it, guys, drop a like, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications, and keep being big ballers. I'll see you guys later. Bye!